you can use when a need comes. That's why the Bible, Malachi said, I give not out of necessity or grudgingly. Necessity means of having need. If you don't use faith continually, when the need comes, you can't operate in it. Because it lies dormant inside of you. By the time you stir it up, your moments of deliverance have passed. Is there anybody here that will stir up the gift inside of them? Stir it up. On the inside of you where you sit right now. It's not about a physical shaking of your body. But let your spirit begin to rack, rack and rage inside of you. Until your flesh responds to what's happening on the inside of you. Jeremiah said it was like fire shut up in my bones. If the Holy Ghost is that powerful in you, how can you sit there in the presence of God? And not worship him. If it's like fire. Then it ought to burn everything out of your mouth. Everything out of your spirit that's not of God. Should dissolve. We shouldn't have to lay hands if you got the Holy Ghost. If you got the spirit of God, we shouldn't have to cast demons out of you. The Bible said when the enemy comes in like a flood, if the enemy has overtaken your life and your body, the spirit of God, if he's in you, the Bible said that he will raise up a standard. Whatever come in your mind, the spirit of God will cast it out. It is defended. I heard God say tonight, me and Pastor and I was discussing this. He said, who will defend my name? There's a Goliath against your God. And he's standing there defiling the name of the God that you serve. And God is saying tonight, who will defend my name? Who will defend the name of the Lord, your Savior, your Deliverer? Is there one? What God is doing tonight in this moment. He is looking for a remnant of people who he can gather together always. When God pulled the people out, he pulled them out of a people. Though we might have a mass here tonight, there's only a few of you that God can depend on. God cannot depend on every one of you. If the books of the church has to be dependent on you, can you are you qualified? Can you handle the business of God? This is not your business. This is not your household matter. This is God's work. You got to become considerate of the business of God. I hear the Lord in the word tonight. There's a purpose for you. I heard God say several things to me on this week. He said you were born for a purpose. You were delivered for a purpose. You were brought out for a purpose. What is your mark? Paul said, I count those things but dumb. I count them lost. Five years of celebration. If we want to go into the greater of God, we got to draw a line between then and now. And even though we got celebrating reasons to celebrate right here, we got to be willing to cross over. How can we preach greater? And not live in greater. It's time to experience greatness. God is greatness. God is greater. Greater is he. Do you understand what I'm saying tonight? Greater is he. Name your sickness. Name your demon. <laughs> Name your problem. Name your mystery. Name your misery. God is greater. I've seen him move too many times. Bertha, shout the name of it. Walk with me, sister. Walk with me. Walk with me. Go where I'm taking you. Shout the name of what the doctors are looking for. Shout it again. Say, MS, my God is greater than you.